Good morning, Angel here, and just starting my day. And today is not going to be just like any other day. I'm determined to get things done. You see, sometimes we go to bed and we don't do the most important things, those tasks that will make a difference in our life. And I'm determined not to make that happen. So I'm leaving the room. And I'm gonna make some coffee and then get to work to do the most important things. Because, oh, yeah, we went shopping for the kids yesterday. Uh, got nine pairs of shoes because they are destroyers. Gym bag I was running yesterday. The thing is, life happens, interruptions happen, and we don't do what we're supposed to do. In my case, what I tend to leave behind is school. And you do too as well, or you, you did if you're not going to school. And the reason is, we got this yesterday, do a marshmallow challenge. See how many we can eat. But anyhow, oh, keep throwing them in the floor. Anyhow, I'm gonna get some coffee. And let me fix this here. The point is, life happens, interruptions happen, and if I start doing anything but the most important thing that I have to do that day, first thing, then it's a good chance that it will not get done. So that's the reason why I suggest my clients, my students, to do the most important thing first because then life happens and you don't do it. You get a call, the service got crashed, things are out of your hands and you hear yourself giving excuses, well, this happened, it wasn't my fault, but yeah, it was your fault. So I am going to start my homework first and then I'm gonna move to take care of my uh, uh, website that I have to finish, but homework is priority number one today of course spending time with the family but let me get some coffee first coffee. I'm gonna check what I need to do for the homework reading. If it's any reading, I'm gonna do the reading. I'm gonna do answer the questions. Then, uh, like I said, I'm gonna work on a website, but I also bought a new tool that I, I want to check, show you out, show you real quick. I think I have it here. I haven't used it yet. It's a white balance card. It's supposed to make my colors in the camera or when we, the, the whites whiter. So that's the purpose of it. It's a gray card and I'm supposed to balance the card before. So actually I'm gonna do it real quick, see if it makes a difference. And, and I'm, let me, let's check it out real quick. If you see the difference now in the colors, it's because I just used this white card. Uh, definitely, uh, I will see it in post-production because this is life. I'm glad that I'm back on recording videos the same day, like throughout the day. And hopefully you enjoy more than just the headshots of me doing it. Talking about headshots, I started a new series in my Toastmasters track. I finished the competent communicator and competent leadership track, which I'm very proud of it. Each of them are 10 different projects, so 20 projects in total. This one, for my advanced track, I decided to go in two routes. Communicating on video, which because that's what I do. Remember, I the, next, the other one is persuasion, or persuasive speaking. Uh, 
Remember, I didn't go to school for video. I'm learning on the go. I buy different equipment based on suggestion. I test them out. That's why you see all kinds of things coming in on the mail. I test out a lot of things. Now, I know you can, you, you might not be in the position of buying and testing all uh, things often. So watch this video, take my recommendation because I, I do it on the every day. Now, the reason I took this track is because I want to make better videos. And this is like the fundamentals. Uh, like, for example, I, I learned design on my own, web design. I never went to school. So there are some things that I miss, the basics that I miss by not going to school. But I think I got, the intention is just go ahead and do it. I think you, school is good, but school doesn't give you results if you don't take action. So I did my, my first project. Uh, last Wednesday, it was really good. Their five project is straight talk, an interview show when you when you are the host, a press conference, and introducing on the internet. So I should it should be fairly easy. The, the last one is a video, so I know I do videos quite often. That should be easy. But as you can see, I just got distracted with the white card, which I wanted to do. But let me get to the series. I'm gonna go and get the laptop and start doing some homework. Got the laptop and the three books for this class. What you didn't see is that the wife, my wife made awesome pancakes. Diego is now eating one. I just ate two. I love pancakes. So I'm going to start doing homework and I will come back after I'm done with my homework. Well, my friends, I've been grinding for a little bit now. I'm going to take a break. Homework is taking me a little bit longer than I was expecting, but I am going to read with Diego. This is gonna be the second time I read it, but this time what I'm doing is reading the question behind the question with my son uh, in chunks. Going to over each chapter each and reviewing it and kind of asking him what are his thoughts on the chapter. The idea is to increase our personal accountability to ask better questions instead of asking why, it's not my fault, uh, it's not my job. We can ask better questions how we can help others in, differently in any way and eliminate that victim mentality that most of us have throughout. Because you know you hear it from other people and I, I believe negativity and victim mentality is like the flu. It gets uh, passed down from people to people. That's why in my goals this year is part of upgrading my peer group. And you should upgrade your peer group. You should hang out with better people. With that said, my friends, I'm going to cut the video here. It's key that I continue my productivity so I can achieve what I want this year and throughout my life. And part of that is what I shared with you at the beginning. Start with your most important task. And a lot of other experts will argue with it. There are many different ways. I will tell you, I'm sharing with you what is working for me. Because if I, let's say I make that call. If I make the call, the sales call, well, let's talk about business real quick. If I make that sales call and I close the business and I know I have that income, anything else that I do that day, it would be easier because I know that I'm moving closer to my numbers at the end of the month, or my sales numbers. If I do homework today, that means that I have tomorrow and the day after to enjoy with my family and I, I don't have that pressure. pressure. And it goes with life because remember, if I don't do my homework today, if Diego doesn't read his book today, which is what we were talking early, uh, Diego and I, that means that tomorrow he can't play because he has to do homework. And you know that, but we tend to procrastinate. And the idea is just find a, the will to just start the day doing what you have to do. Because if you leave it for tomorrow, tomorrow something will happen. The electricity will, uh, the internet will go down. You can upload your homework or whatever it is. You can call your your clients. Server will go down. A family member had an emergency. You had ten calls unexpectedly, or a new client that dropped in your office. It doesn't matter what it is, but you're going to have a lot of external factors that will 
work against you towards moving to, to your desired goal. So with that, my friends, create the life that you want to live. Don't live the life that is handed to you. Manage your time wisely and grow every single day.